So let's see how we can animate MetaHuman inside Unreal Engine. It's quite simple. First of all, as you know, to animate anything, we need a level sequence. So I will go here in my levels folder where I created this level. I will right click here and then I will go to cinematics and I will choose level sequence and I will just name it test animation. And then I will double click on it so it will open. Now, what I need to do here is that I will not add cameras as you know how to add cameras and everything. What I will do here is that I will just animate, uh, I will show you how to animate a meta human here. So I will just take the meta human, I will press this track option, actor to sequencer, add blueprint experiment, uh, which is the name of this uh, meta human, and it will be added. As soon as it will add, you will notice that it ha it is divided into two parts, body and face, and each part uh, has its own uh, control rig, like meta human control rig for the body, face control, uh, board control rig for the face. Now, a simple uh, way to animate is just what you need to do is that you can do in detail mode or all at once. So in, de uh, in detail mode, you have to uncollapse and you have all these controls as you can see and whatever you want to uh, select, you can select from here, it will be highlighted and you can make a keyframe and then start working on it. So this is how you can do in detail by selecting each one of it and then making a keyframe. For ease, I will turn on my auto key as well. So I don't have to keep on pressing the uh, keyframe button. And I will not choose in detail one. What I will do here is that I will just collapse it and make one keyframe for all of these. Okay, so here it is. Now what I will do here is that I will just go forward. Okay, and I will do some kind of changes here. Like suppose I will take this uh, control trick uh, here and I will rotate this one down okay you can also turn off the snappings if you want i will turn off the snappings and then maybe i will take the elbow okay same thing i will do for the other parts here i will take this one move it a little bit down here same as for this and maybe a bit just like this and what else you can do is that you can uh, take the, uh, for example, if you want to move something, you can also move, like knees can be moved, okay? So it can move the direction of the knees. It will not rotate. So some of the parts are rotated, some of the parts are, uh, you can say, uh, like moved, okay? So this is the direction of it. So I don't want to uh, move the direction here. I will keep it as it is, undo that, okay? And then uh, one more thing I can do here is that I can just take the leg and also I can uh, unsnap this. I'll turn off the snapping for the legs part. Okay. And then also I can move this one up just like this. And maybe the knee part a little bit here. Okay. So this is how you can animate and if I will go and the first uh, to the first frame and play it so you can see this is how it animates similarly what you can do here is that let's turn this off I will do uh, for uh, now I will animate up uh, facial expressions so I will turn on uh, I will just make a keyframe for the whole um, control board. So here is our control board. So you can see that it's quite detailed. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but this is the only way you can do that. Maybe if you will go a little bit forward, there are more like a couple of things here. I, I will not go in detail. So if you want, you can go in detail. Suppose this is for the lips. You can see I'm, I can move the lips up or down. Okay. Here is the middle part, which will allow you to move your jaw. Okay. And apart from that, we have here uh, tweakers. Okay. Now, tweakers, what it will do is that it's more like for the facial expressions in detail manner. Like, you know, like 
uh, more detailed uh, way of doing that if you want. So this is how different uh, stuff you have here. So if you would go in, uh, like zoom in, you will see how you have here. You have lips for the lips, you have mouth, okay? And then you have for the eyebrows, for the eyes. So a lot of different things you have here. So maybe I can move the eye a little bit up, make it squint, squinted, okay? Both eyes a little bit squinted, I can make it. And plus I have these option here. These also, if you will notice, this is for, if I move it so you can see this is the, uh, this uh, nose, uh, the crease line next to the nose. Suppose if you want the character to, sm uh, to laugh or something, so maybe for that part you can do it. Now if I will go in the beginning and uh, play this, so you can see the face is also changing. Now this is quite a longer method of doing this, like you have to go to every control uh, part and change these. So it takes a lot of time here. And to easily animate it, what you can do is that, if you will notice that as uh, we were animating this, we automatically moved to animation option from selection. But if you're not in animation option, what you can do, you can go here in the modes, instead of selection option, which is this one, you can uh, select the animation from here, which is the last one. Once you are there, you will notice that there is poses, show poses option here. So I can go to the show poses option. And here I have here uh, different uh, folders. So what I can do here is that I can go to the content folder here. Inside the content folder, I have meta humans. Inside meta humans, I have common. In common, I have an, uh, another common. And inside the common, I have pose library. And the pose library, I have face. And in the face, I have expressions. Okay. And here you can see I have different sort of expressions. I have anger. I have different side, a, a type of anger. Okay. So what I can do here is that if I want to make him angry, so what I can do here is that I can go here. Okay. And then uh, uh, at this uh, point, I will choose my uh, control rig here, select controls, okay? And after this is selected, I will make a key, okay? And paste pose. So it will paste the pose here. And then I can choose uh, a different sort of a expression here and then go a little bit forward and paste that one. Okay, and then maybe a little bit more forward and I can choose something like uh, uh, like terror or something. So it's totally up to you how you want to work on it. You just have to keep on pasting the expression you want. And in the end, you will have your animation or, or all ready. So now this is done. So if I would, if you, if I will play this, let me turn off, uh, let me go in the gaming mode, pressing G on the keyboard so it will turn off for all the views i'll play here and then you can see how it is animating so you have to uh you can make it you know uh the whole thing uh lesser more or gaps between each one of them okay so you have to select all of it so it will take a little time to do that okay or you can collapse it and then you can choose from here okay uh totally up to you how you want to time it and this is how it will look like okay so this is how you can do with the facial animation easily and also we do have combinations and in which uh, we have different combinations like anger disgust outrage all together okay different sort of uh, like combination of expressions other than that if uh let's let's go back here and let's see what do we have more here okay so inside the co uh, of our uh, same option uh the post library in the face we have vizims also so inside vizims we have different sort of vizims so you can make also a lip sync okay like if a person says hmm uh 
Oh, so these kind of uh, animation you can do uh, with these same way that we have done with the expressions. So this is how easily you can do the facial animation. So I hope this class is clear to you and now you will be able to animate metahumans inside Unreal Engine using pre-made regimes and facial expressions and also you can manually animate your metahuman with the help of metahuman control rig. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos. Just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.